Hi guys, how you doing? Um, in today's video, I want to talk to you about a question I always get asked, which is, um, when are we going to stop using food to train the dog? Well, one, unless um, they're on a specialist diet, or perhaps you're using raw food, um, if you're using kibble food though, dry food, then to be honest, it's a great way, using food to train them is a great way of dispensing that food all day, um, so slowing their food intake, and also it's a great way of communicating with your dog, it's, it's a line of communication, it's, it's, it's a way of saying to your dog, you know, you have to work for me to get this food, and although you may not, may not entirely agree with them working for you, but they're an animal, animals work, we work, everybody works, they want to work for for their food and if anything not asking them to do something is probably far more dangerous in terms of their, their uh, mental well-being than asking them to work for things and we're not asking them to do things that are beyond their capabilities we're asking them to do things that are just general day-to-day -day living things even if it's just the sit the down the you know roll over turns heel soaps work whatever it's going to be asking them to do something though for their food is keeping their mind ticking over. I mean, you know, I couldn't think of anything worse than to sit down all day and do absolutely nothing and have food given to me all day. As, as nice as that sounds, that's okay for a holiday, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I think I'd be I'd be pulling my hair out of what I've got left. I'd be pulling my hair out um, because I want to be active. I want to be doing something. Um, and it gives me great pleasure to, to kind of um, work for my food and work for my money so that I can feed my family and and I, I can only imagine that every living thing wants to be doing that um, so they're already getting their food you know for free in, in essence because no matter what we're gonna give them their food but they don't know that they don't know they're gonna get their food no matter what they do um, so so why not use their food all the time for training why not use their food to to teach them new skills all the time so you know, I guess I guess the question comes from people asking um, about uh, assuming the dog is going to be trained, and that's that's the end of it. And it's not about that. When you, when you taught a dog something, you teach them more. So if you have if you have kids or even yourself, you're you're not well. Maybe for me anyway, I could talk for myself, but. You don't want to just stop at what you know. You want to know more. I want to learn more about about life. I want to learn more about different cultures. I want to learn more about different animals. I want to learn more about dog training. I want to learn more about dog behavior. I want to know more. I want to push my mind. I want to push my brain to learn more and more and more things. And, you know, I, I'm... Yes, I specialize in dog behavior. Yes, I train dogs. But is, is that it? Is, is that is that me? done am i am i trained now to to um to teach forever i don't think so i think i need to learn every day i need to constantly better what i know i need to make things better you know i want my kids to be better than i am i want i want their kids to be better than they are i want my dogs to learn more and more and more and more i want them to know how to behave in certain areas and so every day you can teach your dog something new every day. There's never a day that passes you couldn't ask your dog to do something more or reinforce the behavior they already know. So um, using food, one, you know, if you use food to train and they're, they're accepting of food, well, why stop using food? Why try and why try to not use food? You may, you may want to extend the time between giving them a reward, but that is about better training that is about training them something um, something more advanced so you know if you're asking them to sit and stay you don't want to be giving them a treat every time you sit or a reward every time you they, they sit you may ask them to sit and stay for several minutes um, uh, you know tens of minutes before you issue the reward you may ask them to sit and lay down at, at home whilst you have a visitor and you may not be wanting to give them food all the way through that. And that's absolutely fine. That's, that's the correct thing. You don't want to be giving them food all the time when you're asking them to actually settle and wait. Um, but once an hour or so passes when, when uh, family members or friends go and leave the house, well, at that point you can reward them. 
and using food to reward them is a great thing. It's, it's food is a primary reinforcer. It's, it's the, one of the one of the things the dogs know um, that they have to have to survive. It's it's ingrained in every animal. Every animal knows they have to have food to survive. They have to have water to, to survive, and equally they, they have to mate. Um, so those three things are the, you know, the most important things, um, and the three things that are deeply ingrained. Everything else from praise to playing with a frisbee to playing with a ball as much as your dog may love that activity and i'm not saying you shouldn't use that as a reward but as much as they may love that activity you have to teach them that that's a good thing they don't just they're not just born knowing that a frisbee is the most amazing thing in the world or a ball is the most amazing thing in the world or you know um uh, go go and chasing a stick or something is the most amazing thing in the world although i wouldn't i wouldn't let them chase sticks but um you know so so that's a secondary reinforcer and that's something they have to learn which potentially makes it less um, less powerful than primary however you know that's another subject altogether but my point is you know why why stop using food if they love food and it's easy to get their attention using food what's the problem there's no problem using food um, so so my answer to that is don't focus on not using their food don't focus on you know how do i stop using their food to train them because really you need to train them every day so if you're training if you're teaching a new skill then you are having to give them something in return for the behavior the desired behaviors this is the thing you've asked them to do if they've completed it then you have to give them something in return um, otherwise you're you're <laughs> slave labor and you're giving them nothing in return for a new skill and if you think that going to a training class, if you think having somebody around to do some one-to-one -one training over a six-week period is enough, then uh, it isn't. You know, training, a training class is a foundation, it's a starting point, continuous training, one-to-one um, -one training, it's all a starting point and you must continue the training, which means you're teaching something all the time. And, you know, I, I love to strive for better. I want to make more, um, uh, for myself in terms of success and uh, I want to um, get my dogs to learn more I want them to know as much as they can I want my kids to know as much as they can I want my my family to know as much as they can I want I want to know so much and I want to continue learning and, and that for me is important and you know I don't want to retire and then just switch off I want to retire and I want to continue to, to learn as much as I can with it um, with my abilities at that time and you know ultimately we we, we, we live once um, and we may outlive our dogs five five or six times um, which we're very fortunate to be able to do that um, so you imagine their life comes and goes like that compared to ours so teaching them something um, using their food just don't focus on not using their food. It's absolutely fine, and, and, and I don't know why we wouldn't want to use their food to, to, to stop training. It doesn't make sense to not use it if, if it's a primary reinforcer and it's something they love. But if you wanted to combine it with, of course, playing frisbees, balls, yeah, that's great. Combine it with all those things. I'm not saying don't do those. I'm not saying only do food. I'm not saying only use food as a reward. But what I'm saying is don't try and stop using food as a reward. It, it makes no sense. There's, there's always going to be a time to use food. And it's, it's, it's more a case of actually the question you should be asking is when do I stop giving meal times to my dog and when do I stop using treats because don't ever use treats, you don't need to use treats. And meal times, well, <laughs> meal times may be for the older dog, but for the younger dog um, and a dog in its prime, scrap it. Use their food as a reward. So use it all day, randomly throughout the day when they're completing a task and when you're asking them to do something better or something new. Um, and then, and then you're maybe advancing on what they already know. So you're making, um, uh, you know, you're making their stay longer. You're making their um, going to positions or going to bed or, or whatever, whatever you do to, to get them to settle. Um, whatever it may be, you're asking them to stay there a bit longer. And so they're not going to get their reward until afterwards. Well, that's that's how you stop using food for that moment. But you still have to have food at the end to reward them or something to reward them. But my point is. You know, we have to feed the dogs, so why not use their food as a reward to get them to do different things? Again, though, using games, using frisbees, balls, whatever it may be, um, playing with them, playing tug of war, you know, fetch, 
all of those things are amazing ways of uh, communicating with your dog. It's an amazing way of rewarding your dog. Um, but don't be frightened to continually use food. It doesn't mean your dog um, isn't going to be trained. It doesn't mean uh, your dog isn't going to respond to you if you don't have food. Because it will. It will respond. You just have to train correctly. As long as you train correctly, um, then eventually you will get them to respond without having food in your hands. Um, because what you're doing is is is, um, is basically randomly reinforcing the behavior so they never know when the food's going to come. But if they don't complete the task, it'll never come. So they'll complete every task, and it's it's all about repetitions. The more you to repeat, 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 and eventually that they'll get it. So so that that's my answer, guys. Is don't focus on not using food. It just makes no sense to not use food as a reward. Um, I mean, I use food on all of my dogs. I use food. I use play. I use balls. I use frisbees. I use everything on my dogs to reward them at different times, different intervals, depending on what I've got to hand as well. I, I may be using a ball because that's what I'm using to exercise them at that moment. And then suddenly I see something I can, I can, uh, I can work on. The only thing I've got to hand is a ball. Absolutely fine. Use the ball. But, but if I'm going on a specific training task, um, with my guys, then, then, and maybe even another dog, then I'll be looking to use food as the reward because it's a way of getting rid of that food throughout the day. So, um, so yeah, that's my answer for you guys is, is don't focus too much on, um, on, on not using food and don't panic if you're using food every day all the time. Do it. It's fine. What you should be focusing on is the, is the level of training, um, the quality of training, and then um, ultimately putting all that into practice and never stopping training always you're always training because you have to teach them more you have to reinforce what they already know you have to teach them what they already know um so so that's my answer to you um i've blabbled on quite a lot hopefully most of it's made sense because i'm not going to edit this video so hopefully most of it makes sense um if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do because i want to keep bringing you more training videos i want to keep bringing you my thoughts on things um uh, subscribe it's james davis the dog man um and yeah ask me some questions get involved um follow me on facebook instagram as well putting all that together and i uh, hope you enjoy it all catch you soon and have a great day and keep training guys keep training keep using that food ciao